Hello, dear friends. This is Hugh Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you and share with you another word from the Bible. I want to speak to you on the hope of his coming back, on the hope of his coming. Jesus Christ is coming back. He's promised it in the word many, many times that he's coming back. And we need to be ready. The word promised that he would come the first time, and he did, born of a virgin. Oh, praise God. But he's coming back the second time, as he said, in clouds of glory. And he's coming back to take his children home with him, to take his followers back with him. He's coming like a bridegroom comes for the bride. The bride is his people, his church, his people. And he's coming back. We need to be ready for his coming. The Bible says over in 1 Thessalonians, the 15th chapter, For Jesus shall come, and the dead in Christ shall rise and they shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. And so when he comes back, the dead are going to be raised. Those who have died in the Lord, their bodies are going to come out of the grave. And praise the Lord. We read, we read over in the book of First Thessalonians in the fourth chapter, and it says, And the day of the Lord will come, and the trumpet will sound. Oh, that's going to be the sound of a trumpet. It's going to be heard all over the world. Everywhere men are found in life, they're going to hear this trumpet. And they're going to look up at the sound of that trumpet. And they will see the Lord coming in clouds of glory with holy angels. He's coming back. And he's coming back for you, dear Christian. He's coming back for you because he loves you. And he wants to be with you. He said, I, I want to, where I am, there I want you to be also. And so praise God. Bible says over in First Thessalonians, and the Lord shall come back and descend with a loud voice <clears throat> and the sound of the trumpet, and the dead in Christ will rise first, <coughs> and those that are remain shall be caught up with the, together with the Lord in the air. Amen. And when he comes back, there's going to be the sound of that trumpet, and then, oh God, Jesus will come, and there will be the raising of those that have died in the Lord. Their bodies will be raised glorified bodies. Hallelujah. And it's going to be a body that is glorified and it'll never grow old. There'll be bodies that'll never get sick. There'll be bodies that will never have fever or pain. There'll be a Bible. By, by bodies that will live like Jesus forever. Hallelujah. He's coming back and the dead in Christ shall rise. Those loved ones of yours that have died, they're coming out of the grave and they're going to be with the Lord and they're waiting, looking for you. And then those that are alive, they will be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. They will be changed and their bodies will be glorified and they'll be lifted up to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall ever be with the Lord and we'll ever be with each other. Hallelujah. What a day that will be. When Jesus we shall see, when we look upon his face, the one who saves us by his grace, and he'll take us by the hand and lead us to the promised land. Oh, what a day, glorious day that will be. And so we need to look up and not be fearful, but be, oh God, cheerful that he's coming back. And we thank God for the word of the Lord that teaches that truth. Someone said, I get homesick sometimes for heaven. And someone else said, blessed are those that are homesick, for they shall be called home. Amen. We got a home. We're, this is not our home. This troubled world is not our home. We're just down here as strangers and pilgrims. We're on our way home together to be with God and each other. And so we face tomorrow with a song. With a song. We get up each day and know that, God, we're going to live for you, and you're living in us, and we're going to make it. So praise the Lord. Believe in him and know that all is well. Believe and know he's coming back, and that will be a glorious day for you, dear Christian. Betty Graham used to say, before I go to bed at night, I, I pray, and I said, Lord, help me. This may be the day that you come back. This may be the night that you'll come back. And he said, when I get up in the morning, I pray and say, Dear Lord, help me. 
to live for you because this may be the day that you will come back. Amen. Praise the Lord. We look to him who loves us. Someone has said we ought to plan, plan for the next 10 years regarding his coming. Make plans. But we ought to live. We ought to live according to his coming as if he could come the next 10 minutes. So be ready for his coming. He said, be ready for you know not what hour the Son of Man comes. But he's coming back. And he's coming for you. And he's coming for all of us that know him and love him. One day we'll be together forever. Hallelujah. Even so come Lord Jesus. And in the meantime, let us do what we ought to do as we wait upon him. Let us read the Bible. Let us pray. Let us seek his face. Let us support the church. Let us love God and love each other. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll work till Jesus comes. We'll work till Jesus comes. We'll work till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. O oh, land of rest for thee I sigh, when will the moment come when I shall lay my burdens by and dwell in peace at home? We'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work till Jesus comes, we'll work till Jesus comes and we'll be gathered home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God. If you need to pray, and be sure you're going to be gathered home with him. Pray a brief prayer with me, asking God to forgive you, and Jesus will save. Just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that and then find you a good church. Join that church. Be baptized and follow him because you're saved. Amen. Let the hand of God be upon you. And learn to walk in love because God loves you. Don't turn aside because the Lord is right there at your side. Don't even feel that you're forgotten because he says, I'll never forget you. You're always on his mind. And so stay close to him because when you stay close to him, you're staying close to home. You're getting closer all the time. Praise the Lord is coming back. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Keep you close to Him. God bless you. Keep you close to Him. And ever keep near the fact that He could come any time. And He's going to come. And it's going to be a great hour. So God bless you. God loves you. And I love you. Amen and amen.